wrestling. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> On 23rd of June, the UFC will hold its first tournament in the promotion's history in Saudi Arabia. The event will be headlined by a fight between former UFC champion Australian Robert Whittaker and undefeated Hamzat Chimaev. It should be noted that the fight has their challenger title and its winner will be able to fight for the middleweight champion title in the future. More details later in our issue. Watch until the very end. On paper, the fight with Whittaker looks difficult and in fact this is Chumayev's first real top middleweight opponent. Against this background there is something to be wary of but the dividends are also high. Robert is in the third place in the ranking and Hamzad is in 11th. Boris's victory will immediately catapult him into the ranks of the organization's best middleweights. By the way, according to the first quotes, the Chechen-born UFC star is the favorite of this confrontation. Chumayev demanded a title shot from the promotion but received another fight with the prefix super. What does UFC legend Daniel Cormier think of this fight? I'll tell you a little later. And UFC commentator Joe Rogan gave his assessment of the upcoming fight. That's a wild fight. We take her vs. Hamzat is legged. That's a real fight. That's a real fight for Hamzat because Whittaker is a big dude, solid, beefy, former champion, as opposed to when they gave him Kamaru Usman and Kamaru didn't have a chance to prepare for that. He had 10 days, Rogan shared. How can Chumayev defeat such a formidable opponent? Whittaker has enormous experience on his side. He was a champion, claimed the title after that, and in recent years has fought exclusively with high-level opponents. However, Robert has never had the opportunity to meet those who work on the ground so intensely. Will Whittaker be able to withstand Chumayev's takedowns? Or will the fight, as expected, end with the technique in a prone position? Write in the comments, it will be very very interesting for me and others to read. Chumayev's main key is, of course, wrestling. Bors works very aggressively and in this regard he is a unique fighter for the middle division. Whittaker was transferred 12 times during his UFC career but it must be said that opponents with a base that was at least close to wrestling calmly put the Australian on the canvas. Joel Romero did this but he was not in the best shape even then and did not score squeeze dividends out of it. But judoka Dricus Duplessis not only moved with Taker, but also completely dominated him, causing damage in ground and pound. There is reason to believe that Kamzat will fight Robert without any problems. The question is how much the Australian can survive. In addition, as often happens, the striking power of wrestlers is underestimated. Before before joining the UFC, Chumayev won more victories by knockout than by submission. He is the only one who knocked out and in principle defeated Ikram Aliskerov and it was a one-punch knockout and in general in brave with four victories Hamzat finished his opponents three times thanks to the power in his hand. Whittaker, by the way, is well aware of this threat. I understand he's a hard fighter. He likes to grapple a lot. He uses his reach and wrench to good effectiveness 
is. He's got knockout power, but honestly, he likes to play the villain against his opponents, but he's an honorable fighter. We are going to get in there and have an honest fight. We are both going to leave it in there. He's not a quitter. I'm not a quitter. So I'm looking forward to really making history in Saudi Arabia. Questions are already beginning to arise about we takers holder. This is logical. The Australian has a lot of experience and accordingly considerable accumulated damage, which in one way or another affects how the fighter takes a blow. This is also visible visually. In the last fight, Paolo Costa hit a spinning kick that sent Whittaker staggering but was saved by the bell. Earlier in the fight, Robert crouched from a powerful jab from Duplessis, but he was less fortunate there. A technical knockout a few seconds later. It is likely that Chumayev will be able to surprise the Reaper not only in wrestling but also in stand-up. Former UFC champion in two ways categories and now a member of the Hall of Fame, American Daniel Cormier spoke about the upcoming fight. This is fight with Taker vs. Chmaev tells me two things. It tells me one, these two are going to fight in Saudi Arabia to decide who gets the championship opportunity. It tells me too, the next fight for the middleweight champion Dricus Duplessis is already done. They know it's Israel Adesanya, Cormier said during a program on ASPN. Of course, the big question is how Hamzat will last the distance of five rounds if necessary. The last fight with Kamaru Usman left many questions in terms of Kamsat's endurance. What if he can't finish with Taker in the first or second round? Will Hamzat be able to distribute forces correctly? Write in the comments. It will be very interesting to read for me and others. Still, so this is Chumayev's first five-round fight and there is no doubt that his opponent knows how to go such a distance. Dear friends, below in the description I made a selection of cool videos on the same topic. Please go ahead and watch. Thank you. Nevertheless, Hamzat will deservedly be the favorite in this fight. He is more keys to victory and when, if not now, and not with such an opponent to confirm his claims to the title. Stay safe, stay tuned.